If you enjoy the topics and videos you see here on Power of Thought, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It would really help to support us. This video won't make you feel better about the way things are, or trick you into buying into some inspirational gimmick. Came here for another distraction, then go ahead and watch another self-help hack video. If you want to change your life, however, keep watching. So let's start here first. It's Monday morning, it's 7 a.m. Your eyes open, you feel tired, every signal in your body is telling you to stay in bed, but it's time for work. You take a shower, stitch together an outfit, grab some food or coffee, and head out. If you're lucky, it's warm out. If not, let's add 20 minutes to scrape and thaw your car in the morning. On your way to work, you daydream about the weekend, or maybe a vacation. Maybe you daydream about starting a business or going back to school. Maybe you just think about anything and everything except for work. All day at work, whether it is the construction site, the office, or on the road, you keep checking the clock. Always surprised at how little time has passed. The lunch break arrives, but before you can blink, it's over. Back to work, back to waiting, waiting to be you. Finally, you're off the clock. It's time to go home. You run an errand or two, maybe you even go to the gym. But what do you do when you get home? What do you do with those precious four or five hours of your day where you could do whatever you wanted? Do you turn on Netflix? Watch videos on your phone? Pour a glass of wine or crack a beer? You kick back and relax, don't you? After all, you just endured a day of work that your heart wasn't in. And that is perhaps one of the hardest things to do day in and day out. So who could fault you for taking a load off? But for how long? One hour? Two? Three? Four? Six? Every day? You lie to yourself and say that you spent all day thinking. So now you just want to enjoy yourself and not think so hard. But it's a lie. You didn't think all day at work or at school or wherever you were where you hated it. You ran on autopilot. The truth is, you are afraid to think. The truth is that you don't want to sit alone in that room at home and face up to the fact that you aren't happy and that you aren't excited about the future. So you distract yourself with clicks. Netflix, Instagram, TikTok, video games, click, click, click. Maybe you make it even easier by sedating yourself with alcohol or some other substance. Before you know it, this daily routine is all you have. This escape from reality is your little nursery. The cradle you crawl into out of fear. And after this, you have the audacity to turn around and say you just don't know what you want in life as if the answer to that question would just fall into your lap? Long story short, you are lazy. But it isn't your fault. We are bombarded with ads, symbols, and contradicting ideas of how to be happy. Advertisements, politicians, and social media influencers all use the same sorts of strategies. They show you a fake image of the good life and pretend to have the answers. The first step to changing your life is turning off the noise. Brightest stars are forged in fire, and your life may feel chaotic when you start questioning everything and searching for answers. But it is only in this fire that you can craft your future. Don't waste your free time. It's all you really have. It is the only commodity that can't be taken from you, but you have to use it for yourself if you want to take it all back. Don't forget, life isn't about milestones. It's not even about the journey. It's just about being you. And to be you is to be happy. The real way to get rich is to make a life where your time is yours, where your time is an outlet for your passions. Don't forge a path to old age and death with distractions and mediocrity. Start simple. Maybe it's looking through the internet for new opportunities or watching educational videos. Maybe it's getting in better shape or cultivating that garden that's in disrepair. It doesn't really matter what it is, as long as it is for you and from you. You will be astonished what new ideas and opportunities come to you in your time spent with yourself.